Today, I'm going to be rebuilding a team, but on a 100 simulator difficulty. Now, I've heard that this is really difficult, so I'm going to try it for myself. I'll start off with the Oklahoma City Thunder, and let me explain why. This team has a ton of young talent and also has a lot of draft picks. So, yes, I'm low-key running from the grind by picking the Thunder, but I need all the help that I can get because it's going to be very difficult to win a chip on a 100 simulator difficulty. Now, first order of business, I think y'all know who we're about to trade. We just got to get him up and off the team. I mean, Alperin Sengun is a really good offer. Sengun's a guy who it seems like super easy to go out there and get in the game of 2K, and I'm not really sure why because he's really good at basketball, but you know what? I'll take it. So we're going to go ahead and get Alperin Sengun, and then from there, I think I'm going to move Chet Holmgren over to power forward, and J-Dub goes up four overalls at small forward, so there you go. We just made some huge improvements already, but obviously, this is not going to be enough for us to win a championship. Now, the thing about this team in 2K is that they have a ton of picks, like I was saying earlier. So, we can use that to our, our advantage in trades, right? We could trade Lou Dort for Chris Middleton. Now, Middleton's older, and I'm not expecting that we're going to be able to win a chip this year. So, I'd like to get some players who can grow and develop as a part of our team. Maybe a guy like Jalen Duren. He could be a decent option for us. I also saw a trade that involved Emmanuel Quickly and Mitchell Robinson. I think that's the one I'm going to go out there and take. All right, so we've already made some really solid additions to our lineup. I think everything's looking pretty good, but we could probably use a better starting two guard, and we should be able to go out and find a guy who can start for us at the two pretty easily. I mean, we've got a lot of young talent that we could use in potential trades. How about Trey Mann? And then we'll also include Davis Berton's salary, and we'll include like another first round pick. I'm gonna turn off the stipend rule so I can go out there and I can trade my picks. This isn't gonna be a hyper realistic rebuild or anything, but like I've said before, 2K needs to add the feature where you can just trade your um, picks as pick swaps, right? Because that's a feature that is in real life, a feature in real life. You, you know what I'm saying. That's something that you can do out there in real life if you're an NBA general manager. So I feel like that should be something that's in the game of 2K. I mean, 2K has been around for way too long for it not to be a thing. Norman Powell wouldn't be bad at the two. Probably not the guy I'm looking for, though. I think we're going to take this Brook Lopez trade with the idea of flipping Brook Lopez for a better starting two guard. I'm going to do him and Poku, see who we can get. Because the thing is, we have so many young guys on our team, we're not going to be able to afford to bring all these guys back. So I'm just going to try and find somebody. Clank Thompson, we're good, I promise you. Um, we could go get D'Angelo Russell and Rui Hachimura. Not my favorite trade package, but you know what? We'll take it. And then I'm going to move cl quick over to the two. He'll start at the two guard. And then we'll have D'Angelo Russell run the backup one. We'll have Isaiah Joe. Oh, yeah, bro. I, I cooked. I mean, I don't think this is going to be enough to win us a lot of basketball games because the way people talk about this 100 simulator difficulty, apparently it is very difficult. So we're going to have to lock in. All right. I mean, we start off the season with the win. Uh, I mean, we're three and three, three and four. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're bad. Okay. So th this is going to take a lot. Oh my goodness, man. All right, man, I completely underestimated how difficult this challenge was about to be. I mean, I didn't expect us to be champions with the team I put together, but us winning 31 games is definitely a shock to me. So we're going to have to lock in like expeditiously. We're going to have to be really locked in if we want to somehow do this. Shout out to the Heat winning a championship. Now, we should have some picks in the draft, hopefully. Okay, it looks like we got the fifth pick via Houston, and we also have the sixth pick via our own pick. Let me turn off the um, my phone, bro. I heard a notification vibrating, so let me turn that off. But anyway, we're headed to the NBA draft, and yeah, bro, I think it's needless to say, I'm not going to do this as a realistic rebuild, bro, so we're trading up for number one. It's really as simple as that. I'll give you number five, and then what, number 17, and I'll throw in like, uh, I'll give y'all Rui Hachimura, I guess. Yeah, that's probably going to be the trade package, bro. Who's got the number one overall pick? We're calling them up on the phone, and we're adding that pick. All right, let's see if they take it. Oh, okay, okay, great, great, great. All right, and then you know what? We might we might just need number two as well. I'm not going to lie to y'all. 
because this team's going to get expensive. We don't really need some of the role players on this team. Case of Wallace usually develops pretty well in 2K, so I'm kind of reluctant to trade him. I don't think Jalen Williams will be that crazy, though, so I would trade him and also like AJ Green. I mean, sure. We'll go ahead and throw him in the trade as well, and then we'll go ahead and call up whoever has number two. We'll trade for that pick. That way, we can just stack up on young talent. They're not going to take that trade offer. That's fine. We got seconds on seconds. I'll throw in two second rounders. They still say no. I don't want to. I mean, that's top five protected, but still, I don't want to give up some of these future picks. You never know what they could end up being. So I'm going to be a little hesitant about doing that. But you know what? I give us one of. Oh, I don't have any more of our picks. Huh. Okay. I, I don't think the Rockets are going to be that bad, but who knows? Oh, man. Oh, this is tough. You know what? I'll throw in a Houston first rounder. All right, we get number two. So now we're picking it one and two. I'm going to draft Ron Holland. I know he's really good in these. And Alexander Saar or Isaiah Collier. I think Collier is great. So we'll go ahead and get Collier. All right, cool, cool, cool. So we got Isaiah Collier. We also drafted Ron Holland. Two huge additions to our basketball team. We also got all these team options, bro. Oh, my goodness. And we're going to be picking up all of them because we can trade the players if we don't want to keep them. We can trade them, at least get some value. And then we're also going to extend the qualifying offer to Emmanuel quickly. So that pretty much is all we got to do. We just got to re-sign D-Lo, re-sign quick. Those guys are potential salaries we could use in a trade down the line. Or we could just keep them as players for our team. And it looks like we got a little bit more money to spend. I'll offer Drummond a contract. I mean, why not? And the team, I, I don't know, man. I feel like we're going to suck again, which is fine. I guess we're just going to have to kind of like ride it out for a little bit. I think this team is really good. But then again, you, you just don't know. I mean, this simulator difficulty is incredibly difficult. You know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simulate a couple games of the season and then go from there, like maybe 10 games, just see how things go. And if we suck, I'll just call it a year and say, you know what? We don't got this. But if we're actually doing okay, then maybe I'll go ahead and try to actually make this team better. So I would say if we're like five and five, it might be worth trying to lock in. Okay, okay, we're actually doing pretty decent right now. We might actually have to try and lock in on some trades. I mean, four and six, no, okay. Well, we're terrible. We're going on a huge losing streak. You know what? I'm just going to give the guys some more time to grow and develop as a team. I mean, right now, what? We're sitting at 8 and 11, three game win streak. That's not too bad. Am I getting like gaslighted into going out there and making a trade? Because I, I don't feel like this is the team. I don't feel, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what we're going to be able to do this year. But if there's an opportunity to improve, maybe I'll look at it. I mean, Desmond Bain for quickly seems like a good trade to me. Zach Levine for quickly. I guess at this point, though, quickly is on their level. He's an 84 overall, which is crazy. We could get Anthony Simons. I mean, do any of these trades really move the needle? Do they make us a team that's at least going to be in the playoffs? Probably not. And I'm not sure that there's really some huge move that we can make right now without me just rushing into something that's not really going to make sense. So you know what? I'm just going to take my time with this one. I've learned that from previous rebuilds. You got to take your time. If you've got picks that can land down the line, we've got picks from other teams, right? If we just wait it out, that probably will be most beneficial to us. Another season is in the books, and we were better this year, 41 and 41. So not too bad, I guess, considering the challenge and round in the round one in the play-in. We had the Pelicans and we had the Lakers, and we lost to both of them. So we aren't gonna make it into the playoffs this year, which is whatever. Now I'm kind of regretting trading away some of our picks earlier on, but. I mean, you can't go back and undo the trade, so too late now. And it looks like we have the fourth pick. Okay, that's not too bad. We've got the fourth pick via the Los Angeles Clippers, so that's going to help us out in this rebuild. Now, looking at this draft, I'm not sure who's the best. Oh, this is the Cooper flag one. Oh, these guys in this draft, oh my goodness, they're comp. Okay, so yeah, I don't really want D'Lo on my team. He's taking up too much money, so I would be fine with trading him. You know, maybe Phoenix is going to work with me. We'll see. I'll give you 24. I'll give you the ninth pick in the second round. I'll give you all those second round picks. They still say no. That's fine, because you know what? We have the great Andre Drummond. Oh, that's not going to put it over the edge. I'm surprised. Who else do we have that we could trade? Um, I mean, we could trade quick. I'm, I don't know though. I mean, quickly's really good, 
but it's probably going to get to the point where we have so much money on the books that we can't even like carry all these players on our roster, right? We can't afford it. So if I could get a future first via Phoenix, I would do this. Okay, you know what? I'll do it without the pick. Oh, they still don't want to do it. You know what? Fine. I'll give you another first round pick. Oh my gosh. Y'all are trolling me now. I'll throw in a second round pick. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, bro. 2K, y'all get on my nerves sometimes. It's not like I put this on 100 trade difficulty. I put this on uh, 100, 100 simulator difficulty. I'll give you our 2029 first. Finally, we get the number one pick. We've also got four. So we're going to drive Cooper Flag to our squad. And then at four, we'll take... Uh, is Dylan Harper the best player? Some people are telling me I should sort by overall. So I guess I'll do that. We'll go ahead and get Dylan Harper on the squad. And that means we're going to have 79 and 80 oh my goodness yeah we just drafted some really good players awesome and then we're gonna head to free agency where we'll probably have to bring back some restricted free agents yeah we got to bring back sangoon we also got to bring back isaiah joe oh he doesn't even want too much bread and then jay sean tate yeah that's reasonable for jay sean tate now i feel like this year is the year where we should start taking a leap because our team has gotten significantly better year over year in my opinion i'll offer years of in a contract why not and yeah, that's pretty much it for the offseason. Now, checking out the squad, I just want to see where everybody's at in terms of progression. Yeah, man, things are going beautifully. Things are going according to plan for sure. So maybe this is the year where I make some type of deadline move to improve the team. But maybe there isn't really a need for that. I mean, we have all these young players who are going to get better. We've got a great roster. You know what? I think we're just going to rock out and continue on. I don't want to rush it like I've been saying. All right, so this is where we're sitting at right now, 21 and 18 on the season. Not too bad. We got off to a better start, but we've lost four in a row recently. And maybe it's because we got um, Isaiah Joe starting at the two. Now, no disrespect, of course, to the great Isaiah Joe. But if we have an opportunity to improve, it might be time because we're starting to win some more games. I'm not even trying to do anything crazy. I just want to improve the roster a little bit. Herb Jones! low key could be the guy for us but i also saw keegan murray and keegan murray usually progresses well in 2k so i think he's gonna be the guy for us j dub could play the two for us we slide murray over to the three j dub to the two yeah yeah that might be the move man all right that's what i'm gonna do hopefully that helps a little bit maybe it won't but you know i, I tried i guess oh my gosh y'all probably just heard me hitting my um adapter let, let me tell y'all about that since i haven't really had a yap session in a second so basically I, I set up everything with my computer right i recently got a ps5 so i could go ahead and start bringing higher quality content to you guys. I was playing on the Xbox Series S, right? And the Xbox is fine and all, but the simulation speed was trash, bro. Like, I'm talking it would take me 10 minutes to simulate a season. And I'm simulating a lot of seasons every day usually, right? I'll have videos that are 20 seasons. You think about that, that's 200 minutes. That's over three hours of simulating. And usually PlayStation, it's like three to four minutes. So that's cutting the time that it takes to make a video over in half, right? So that's absolutely huge. So basically, I got a PS5, right? And then I've got my laptop here. I've got my Elgato. I've got everything set up. But then I realized I needed this adapter. So I went to Target and got this adapter, right? I, I don't really know what this story is going to. Basically, I got the adapter and everything worked. But that's what I just hit with my hand. I hit this adapter. Y'all don't care. Also, I've got some beautiful news. You know, I, I'm just I'm just in my bag of rambling right now. So guess what, guys? My finals for, for college and everything are going to be over on Thursday. Bro, I'm geeked right now, man. Oh, my goodness. I am so hyped that this is about to be over with. So that way, I can go ahead. I can make more content, you know, have a little bit more time to lock in on these videos. Because let me tell you, all I was posting. I posted every single day of November. We're going for every Every single day of December over on the main channel as well and on this channel I'm trying to post more frequently I'm trying to go for almost every day I might miss a day here or there but I'm really trying to push out these uploads and also make the videos better come up with better ideas you know all of the above basically so if y'all have any content ideas let me know now the only thing about asking people for video ideas right and and this is one thing that I feel like does kind of suck as somebody who makes content you like I have ideas I want to do right and I think about them and I'm like man that's just not gonna hit 
in the YouTube algorithm or whatever. So that's something I got to consider when I'm requesting ideas from people. So if you ever suggest an idea, it might be a really fun idea, right? But I have to consider, you know, the algorithm or whatever so I can get my videos out to more people. A anyway, man, here's where we're sitting at, 45 and 37. But also, the reason why I like having this channel is because I'm not worried about, oh, I got to make the perfect video for the algorithm. Let's get a good thumbnail. Let's, you know, all that stuff. This this channel, I just post the videos. Anyway, round number one, we got the Denver Nuggets. We're probably going to lose. Yeah, we got cooked. I expected that, though, because we're still still not at that level we're still not that team we're still not absolutely stacked so we've got more work to do time for the draft lottery and it looks like we're gonna land the fifth pick via the los angeles clippers now checking out this draft class it has aj debonsta cam boozer who's an absolute dog in the simulation so it'd probably be beneficial if we went out and got one of those guys but do we need anybody else bro our team is absolutely stacked up with young players so you know what this time i'm gonna make the decision to trade the pick i'm gonna package alper and sangoon and the fifth overall pick see what we can get darius garland is an interesting offer we could get dejounte and a kongwu that's another pretty solid offer yeah we're getting some interesting ones out here man some ones that i might at least consider for a second now darius garland Ah, he might be the guy, or Tyrese Maxey. I'm considering both those guys. You know what, Darius Garland, I've seen him win MVP in the sim. He's definitely a needle mover for our team. And what I'm thinking is we can play Shea as our two guard at 6'6". Six, six. He can do that, you know what I mean? And that's what, how we're going to run it. So we trade the fifth pick, but we get an absolutely elite player. I'm also going to bring back all these guys on team options. And oh my goodness, I got to bring back all these other players too. I got to pay them a bunch of money. So Chet Holmgren, of course, huge priority for us to bring him back. J-Dub, another guy who, again, it's a priority for us to bring him back. Usman Dang, bro, come on, man. You really want $21 million? That's probably not going to happen. I'm also going to offer Keegan, but already I'm concerned about how expensive stuff's about to get. So I'm going to hope that we can land all these guys. And then if we can, maybe I'll try and get Mitchell Robinson back. All right, we ended up bringing back everybody somehow. And yeah, we do not have the money for Money Mitch, unfortunately, which definitely does suck. But I don't really have anybody that I'm willing to give up with, part ways with, uh, for to get Mitchell Robinson back. We could trade like Jay Sean Tate, Yurtsevin, and uh, Olenek. That would actually clear up a good amount of bread. Loki, that's probably the move. You know what? We can get first round picks galore for these guys as well. Because 2K, you know, this game is the CEO of you trading players who aren't that good for valuable first round picks, right? So we'll just go ahead and trade all these guys and we'll get some draft capital. Two first. Yeah, beautiful, man. We'll go ahead and do that. And now we might have the money to bring back Mitchell Robinson. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, that was that was a good plan. W, w plan, W idea by me. All right, now we're heading to player progression where our team should be looking crazy. I mean, we have stacked up on players. Yeah, yeah, this could be our year. And if this year isn't our year, next year might really be it. Team looks great. I'm excited for this upcoming season. As we get into this season, it is crazy to me, man, that these videos recently have been pulling like three, 4K views a video. That's ridiculous, bro. I'm literally sat here in my room playing 2K, like rebuilding, just chatting. You know what I mean? I'm not even really talking, like I'm not really editing or anything. I'm not cutting up the video to make it just right or anything like that. And it seems like y'all really enjoy this type of content. So I, I really appreciate that, man. It was an idea that was on my mind for quite some time, but I was like, you know, is anybody really going to watch these videos where I'm just sitting here playing the game? And it seems like there's an audience for it, which is so cool to me, man. So thank, thank you guys so much. And as somebody who's been doing YouTube for a while, right, it's really nice to have this channel where I can just come on here and post videos and not really worry about the performance too crazy, not worry about editing them or worry about the algorithm or all that. But anyway, right now we are 19 and 18. 
so whoever suggested this challenge man oh my goodness it is difficult like i thought this was gonna be hard but i'm i'm like i owe you an apology i wasn't familiar with your game if anybody's completed this challenge that, that that's crazy man because this is difficult we've got a lot of picks that we could potentially trade now i could worry about them being really good down the line but at this point i just want to make the team better man we could get dyson daniels i mean sure i guess you know what maybe a better approach is to look at what positions we need it looks like we need a backup five and we have too many guards and you know what i have one idea when it comes to that j dub it might be your time man we might have to trade you i'll trade these two first as well right and we'll see if we can get like a good backup center i, I mean somebody nice a men thompson he's not a center okay so nobody's offering me centers i guess i'm gonna have to do it myself man i'm gonna go ahead and try and find my own trade Okay, I think the reason that I can't find a trade for centers is just because there's not that many good centers in the league. Trading away Alper and Sangoon might have been a mistake. But anyway, we're going to try to make a trade for somebody. I mean, Jokic, I doubt he's available or he's a guy that the Nuggets are going to want to trade. So I'll try it, I guess. Oh, it's not even going to work contractually. All right, contractually. Uh, we could look at Bam Adebayo. Usually he's a guy who's kind of easy to get into, okay? Okay, it looks like they're valuing him crazy. But you know what? We'll try to make it happen. Y'all give me Bam. I'll give y'all J-Dub. And I'll give y'all like a first, maybe two first. What's going on? 10 million. We got to make up 10 million. I can't even really do that. Oh, my gosh okay well i think the center trade thing might not really happen i guess we'll just see how the year goes and try to rely on that player progression to carry us through man this might be a lot harder than i thought i've been saying that a lot in this video but i really underestimated this we did finish the season as the three seed 47 wins i'm not very hopeful for the playoffs though i'm not gonna lie to y'all i think we're about to get cooked round number one we beat the grizzlies round two we got houston we just made the conference finals hold, hold on hold, hold on we got the san antonio spurs i'm still not gonna get my hopes up i mean they got d fox and Victor Wembanyama, so I think we're probably gonna lose. We're down three to two, and we do lose in six. All right, you know what? I'm not trying to get too hyped up too prematurely. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna get too excited too early. So let's see what we have in terms of picks. It looks like we don't really have anything good. That sucks. All right, well, I guess it's back to the drawing board this off season. I hope we don't have to re-sign anybody. I hope nobody's about to become a free agent because that that would be kind kind of kind of rough man and it looks like ron holland might be oh my gosh already we gotta pay this dude you've got to be kidding me man oh no okay so we're gonna have to get cheaper as a team i think two ways to do that are trading away j-dub and then we also have uh keegan murray who's making quite a bit of money to play basketball for us so he could be another guy who we look at trading man i wish the sangoon trade was available earlier on because I, I most definitely would have took it we could get deandre aiden but again i'm looking for somebody who can play for us for like not much money that's really my goal right now so we might have to venture out and try and find a center who's still on a rookie scale deal i mean anyeka kong was making like 16 m's he could be an option is there anybody else out there we could go get it doesn't really look like it man oh my gosh this is so difficult that they're, they're really testing me with this one you know what we'll try keegan murray trades because i think i'm gonna have to save some money in order to bring people back is Caden boozer gonna be nice does he what type of potential does he have is he about to be like crazy in the simulation or what i don't even know where potential is he's got b plus i mean am i gonna trade a guy who's an 85 for a guy with b plus potential uh, i don't really think so you know what i mean we could get trey man in the seventh pick maybe is that the move is, is the move like trading one of our players who's making a lot of money for a high pick that could be what we gotta do you know what i'd be willing to give up keegan murray who's an 85 i mean we'd be taking a little bit of an l in terms of overall like early on right we would be getting maybe a guy who's like a 79 or an 80 in the draft but they should end up developing to be better now the problem is the nets can't afford to take on the money and it doesn't really look like there's an avenue for them to do that okay how about the third overall pick okay atlanta's got some money you know what will y'all do this they say no 
I'll throw in some second round picks. That's really all I can do for y'all at this moment. I'll throw in some second rounders. I'll give y'all another one. Oh my gosh, I do not care about your small forward position. Just do the trade game. Oh my goodness, there you go. We finally got the third pick and I, I'm not done yet. Don't think I'm done yet. We're going up to number one for sure, man. So we'll go ahead and get uh, the Nets. Yeah, the Nets on the phone. Let's see if they're willing to work with me at this point in time. I'll throw in the 20th pick and I'll throw in our 2020, 2031 first round pick. And you know what? I'll throw in a bunch of seconds and hopefully that'll finish the job for us in this trade because if it doesn't, oh my gosh, man. Nobody wants to work with me today, man. I'll give y'all a Hawks first rounder and boom, we got it done. I have no idea who's in this draft. Hopefully somebody good is here. Tyron Stokes, all right, he's the number one guy. We'll go ahead and get him. Great, 78 overall joining the team, and we're gonna save some money in the meantime. We got all these team options. Oh, we didn't even have to re-sign Ron Holland. All right, WIQ, Danny. I mean, we gotta bring back Casey Wallace, who's pretty solid for us. Hopefully we'll be able to, oh my gosh, we gotta bring back SGA. I, I didn't even know. Okay, that should be our prior. Oh, great. The, the hard cap, the great hard cap. Now, if we offer a little less, he probably will take it, right? Because it looks like nobody else is really working with him. So we'll see. He's going to take the offer. Okay, okay. Okay, we're good. We're in the clear. Now, we do have to worry about Case and Wallace, but at this point, man, you want $30 million. Yeah, GG's. You'll just have to accept that qualifying offer or you're going to have to walk because we don't really have the money to be paying, bro, $30 million. All right. Let's see how the team's looking in player progression. Bro, this is a dream team type of squad, bro. This squad is ridiculous. I think we should be contenders, but we might not be because the simulator difficulty stuff is difficult. All right, so the season is over with, and let me tell y'all, we might have been in our bag a little bit this season. 53 wins. Now, that that's not good enough to make us the best team in the world or anything, but, I mean, we made it out the first round. Round number two, we got the Bells. Come on, come on, bro. Come on. Game seven, we're going to simcast. You know what? I might mess around and pick up the sticks for this one. I, I know people get mad because I'm terrible at the game, but guess what? I, I won't even have to for this one because we're absolutely cooking them right now 156 points in regulation let's get to the finals come on don't let dallas stop us okay we're down 3-1 we're gonna take game five and game six time for game seven and like i said i feel like hopping on the sticks today so if i'm gonna sell my team then if, if if my team loses right it, it's gonna be at my own hand well it looks like we're gonna lose because I, I didn't get a chance to hop in if i was on the sticks bro it, it would have been over Probably for our team, it would have been over. But we do go ahead and lose. We're making a lot of progress, though. We made it to the conference finals. I mean, we made it last year as well. But y'all get what I'm saying. We're getting better and better. Squad is starting to stack up more and more with talent. We unfortunately don't have any more picks that we can really use. But at this point, I think we're past the days where we can draft players and wait on them to develop. We just got to start doing our thing. Oh my gosh, we got to resign so many players, dog. Th this is so difficult. Okay, well, I, I need to tier aid Mitchell Robinson, bro. I need somebody cheaper at my center position because we got to resign all these guys to my basketball team. I wish there was somebody good who could play for us on the cheap, but it doesn't really look like that. that's a thing at the moment. Now, do we have any picks for the draft? We got 18 via Boston. I mean, I probably need to get rid of that real quick, but I'll do that in a J-Dub trade. You know what? I'll trade 18 and 23, and somebody give me, like, somebody cheap, bro, please. I, I just need a player who can play for me for about, like, two dollars or something bro because because it's getting ugly man we we don't have any bread to spend on these players man we don't have bread to pay them contracts and we're, we're about to get cooked in free agency i'm, I'm already known man all right so that, that's not gonna work i i gotta go into the player finder really get in my bag and figure something out it looks like my best bet might be Michael Porter Jr. He's not making crazy money. He's making like 20 mil a season. I'll do this straight up. Just take it. Oh, y'all think you're a championship contender. Guess what? I don't care. Take the trade, man. Two first rounders. There you go. That'll cut a, cut cost a little bit by about like 20 million. So that does help at least a little bit. All right. And now I guess we're just going to go to free agency. Oh, dog. We're about to get cooked. We got Darius Garland, Ron Holland, and Isaiah Collier in free agency. I feel like we might be able to get two of them back, 
realistically. Nobody, is anybody offering our guy DG? No, not at all. And then we can match the other two offers. This might work. This might work. All right. Just hope that our renown, our, or the rights to our guys don't accidentally get renounced. We're going to have to match there. As long as Ron Holland can hold up to accept his offer, we might be good. It worked. Okay. And now the way it works in 2K is we just have to wait, I think, till he gets an offer and we'll be allowed to go over the hard cap to re-sign Ron Holland. But hopefully he actually gets an offer so we don't have to rely on him re-signing on the, uh, what's it called, the qualifying offer, right? Uh, please, man, please. We're at the final day. He's not getting any real offers. No, man, no, 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 no. We got to get him back. Mitchell Robinson, please get off my basketball team. Can somebody just give me players who are, who are playing on the cheap? Give me Austin Reeves and Jordan Smith. Th that, that was an absolute fleece for their team. I don't care, though, because I can trade Reeves. Please tell me I can just trade him for him for somebody who's making, like, nothing right now because that, that's what I need. Scary Terry, fine. All right, great. We get Terry Rozier. I'll trade Terry Rozier. Just somebody give me, like, yep, two first. Beautiful. Okay, great. And then we're going to go ahead and trade Jordan Smith. And, yeah, we'll get another first-round pick. Jay Smooth, bye-bye. All right. And now we should have enough money. Oh, we don't have enough money. Oh, my gosh, man. Wait, hold on, hold on. If I put the money down just a little bit, he, he's going to take it. He's going to take it, right? Yes. Okay. We did it. We did it. The offseason uh, that, that they'll talk about, man, that, that was legendary right there. Now, we want to move Chet back to the five because we don't really have any centers right now, and that's pretty much all I can do. This team is ridiculous. It's probably going to be close to one of our last years because a lot of our guys, they're not going to be under contract for much longer. I don't know how I'm going to be able to work it out down the line, but we'll see what we can do this year. Dog, we're 15 and 22. With this basketball team, we are 15 and 22. Now, maybe positionally, there's something more I could do. We have too many point guards. All right, cool. We can get a backup center for one of our point guards. Isaiah Collier is so good, though. All of our point guards are so good. Oh, we only got two point guards. I'm not trading away one of our point guards. Man, forget what 2K is telling me to do. We're just going to simulate the rest of the year, and hopefully we'll be able to bring back everybody in the offseason for realistically what will probably be one of our last runs because this team just costs way too much money. Bro, do y'all see in the bottom left we've lost over $600 million this season? This is the worst challenge ever, man. We won 36 games. Play-in tournament. Woohoo. We made it into the playoffs. Yeah, now you're going to tell me we're going to make it out the first round. No, we're not. We get swept. I don't understand. I feel like I'm putting together a really good team. But if we can bring everybody back, I guess I'll try again. Do we have any draft picks this year? That could be kind of clutch. It doesn't look like we have any good ones, though, so that sucks. I guess we'll go ahead and skip right past the draft then, go straight to team player options, see what we got to bring back. Oh, we're taking this on Tyron Stokes for sure. And then, oh my gosh, we got to bring back Cooper Flag and Dylan Harper. Yeah, bro, it might be wraps. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can even afford to bring back one of them. <laughs> yeah, bro, it's probably GG's, but we can wait and see if any teams actually offer them deals because then we'll have the ability to match the contract. All right, there you go. We matched the offer for Cooper Flag. Now we just got to wait and see if Dylan Harper gets an offer. If he doesn't, then sorry, buddy. You're just going to have to take the qualifying offer or you're just going to have to hit the road because we're not going to be able to offer you anything more. We are cooked from a financial standpoint, but it looks like he's not getting an offer. So maybe he'll take the qualifying. Please tell me he does. And he does. Okay, cool. This is realistically our last chance, man. We have 590 plus players on our squad. Absolutely ridiculous. The team we've managed to put together. We'll see if it's enough to win a championship. All right, so we're 12 and 14, which obviously is not good enough to try and win a championship. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and do every trade package I possibly can. Because like I said, this is like our last season. We can't afford to bring back all these basketball players. So I'll throw uh, Tyron Stokes and two firsts in the trade finder. We can get Kadeen Mulaj, who's an 87 overall center. That doesn't sound too bad. We need a big. Now, this Jasper Johnson and Miles Turner trade is probably even better, though, because we get two players from one, Kuminga and Wiseman reunited. We could also get them. Okay, there's actually a lot of good offers here. I'm not sure which one's the best. 
I mean, realistically, you can't go wrong with a lot of these. I guess we could take the Wiseman. Oh, uh, hold on, man. Hold on. I think that the one I saw that had Miles Turner in it might have been the best one because we get an 83 and an 85. All right, we're going to take this Miles Turner trade. That's already a pretty big improvement for us. All right, great start, great start. Now we got Ron Holland. Ron Holland will probably develop and be even better, right? That's great, but we don't have time to wait on all that. So let's see if we can make a better trade. Donovan Klingon and Malik Monk is not bad. Probably my favorite trade I've seen so far. Kuminga and Kalabali is ridiculous, though. Yeah, give me that. We'll go ahead and do that trade. Now we got Kuminga and Kalabali on the roster. All right, all right. The team's shaping up. Michael Porter Jr., you can get off the team. You can go not swing the rock somewhere else. Two first-round picks. Uh, we could get Malik Monk and Keldon Johnson. That's not too bad. The offers aren't really hidden for Malik Monk or for Malik Monk for Michael Porter Jr. like they were for some of our other guys. So you know what? We'll try Kalabali, who we just got. He's making a good amount of salary. He's a pretty good overall. We'll throw in two first-round picks. See if we can get anybody crazy. Keontae George and Vando. That's probably the move so far. Yeah, I think Keontae George and Vando is going to be our other trade. All right, cool, cool cool now we've just improved the roster significantly i've pretty much done everything i can now positionally we can probably make things a little better i'm gonna slide sga over to the small forwards like collier over to the two that should help out a little bit yeah that is a little better all right this is what we're gonna run we need a 10-man rotation there um what position is jasper johnson can you slide over to the three for me potentially yeah he can all right cool and then, yeah. All right, this is going to be the rotation, man. I feel like this is incredible. We have all 85-plus players in our rotation, a 90-plus starting five. If we can at least, like, be the two seed by the end of the year, I won't even know what to say, man. I mean, look at our reserves, bro. We got 83s in the reserves. Man, I left this for like an hour. I just went to go eat dinner, but I'm, I'm back. I'm back, all right? So let's go ahead and see what we're working with. 46 and 36, bro. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I don't have high hopes at all. Round number one, we got the Dallas Mavericks, and we're going to lose in six. So I'm willing to say that this challenge is near impossible, if not impossible, especially with the hard cap on and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I will see you guys. And have a great bro. I messed up on the on the outro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.